hello everyone so today uh, I have a Logitech mouse M275 which currently the issue is the scroller is a little bit jammed as you can see I need to apply some forces for it to move so today I would like to disassemble this mouse and look how we can fix this lah. Yeah, so let's get started so first of all, uh, I will need to remove the screw so that we can access to the internal part of this mouse. Uh. So after looking through, uh, looking around, I found that there is like a screw holding behind these uh, stickers. So let's find a way to remove this sticker. So because this sticker is a little bit hard to peel off, so I would try to use a hair dryer to blow it so that the gum is a little bit melt and it's easier for me to remove this sticker yeah, so let's blow it So now we can see that there is a screw underneath this sticker. So let's remove this screw. The reason I don't want to remove all the way of this sticker is because later I want to stick it back so that it looks like original. So after removed, so keep it visible so that we don't lose it. After removing the screw, now we can separate the body and the casing of this mouse. So how can we separate it? So it's easy. So we just stick our screwdriver into one of these holes. Then we just pry it. Gently pry it. Then we just push it to the front a little bit slightly push it yeah so why do we need to pry it because as you can see there is this latch over here so this latch is latching the body to the case so it just hold it firmly and why do we need to push it to the front it's because as you can see there is another latch over here so it is just holding them together so that they the the whole mouse is firmly hold and it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off all the time after removing the casing so now we can see what is the real issue over here so as we can see there is a lot of dust accumulated under this circuit board and there is some stain not sure you can see it yeah you can see there is some stain or grease accumulated or coated all around this scroller so i think that is one of the reasons uh, that is causing this scroller to be jammed and not so smooth uh. so let's try to clean it up and uh, using a uh, wet tissue yeah so let's get started So, first of all, to have uh, easier access to this, all these components, so let's remove this circuit board from the body. So, as you can see, there is no screw or nothing that is holding this circuit board to the body itself. Only there is this latch. There is this latch. And there is this battery terminals so we just need to gently push out these battery terminals then we are safe to remove the circuit board so gently remove it so over here is a little bit tough so we just gently pry it yeah, 
we just push it all the way here we can see there is another clip so we just push the clip away So now you can see right it is quite smooth to scroll this scroller over here. So we just need to clean up all this dust. So now you can see the body is quite clean. So as a good practice because I'm using a wet tissue instead of industrial uh, alcohol to clean it. So to ensure there is no moisture that eventually will harm the circuit to get the circuit to get rust due to the humidity. So we just need to wipe off, wipe off all this moisture from this casing uh, from, from the body. So now for the circuit board part, so because we don't want to get any water or any moisture to this circuit board that will eventually causing any rust on the component. So we just use a dry tissue or if you have the alcohol then it's better to use that or we just use the tissue to wipe it out to remove all this dust like what I have currently. So we just gently pat away all the dust and you can see over here that there are a lot of dust accumulated here so it is hard for us to access to it. So how can we remove this scroller from this encoder? So it is simple so we just push it away from the encoder so now let's clean up all the dust so for this scroller because it is not an electrical component so we can just use uh, the wet tissue to wipe it off so after cleaning up all the dust so how can we assemble back this scroller to the encoder so as you can see there is a hole over here we just need to align this scroller the thin part align it to the hole then just push into it so now we have installed the scroller back to the encoder so now let's clean the casing. Now we have cleaned up all the dust and the casing and all the circuit board and the body looks clean. So now after we have wiped off all the water and all the moisture, so now we are good to assemble it back. That, that is something we need to take note is we can see there is this plastic transparent plastic over here so this one generally it just 
refract the LED light from this circuit board and then it just shine it through here this indicator this indicator just show that we are turning on or we are having low battery level so this will indicate the status of the mouse meanwhile that is another plastic over here this is the switch so you need to be aware because this switch is not attached to anything it is just hold at this case at this body so need to be aware of it so after now we we have already cleaned up all the things and we just assemble them back to the case so now we have already assembled everything back so as you can see the scroller is getting a little bit smoothed than before yeah. so if you want it to be even more smooth you can add some grease or some oil at the con at the shaft so to make it a little bit slippery yeah, so that's all so now we just need to stick this back so after cleaning up and assemble it back so I found that when the circuit board is tightly fit into the body it the scroller become a little bit hard to scroll again it get resistance so where does this resistance come from so as we can see there is no contact on the side wall of these two so that must be something that is rubbing this scroller against the body so let's remove it again and let's see where is the rubbing come from so from here we can see that there is this bridge along these two side wall that is holding the scroller so i'm suspecting this bridge is causing the rubbing against the scroller that is causing we have so much friction to scroll the scroller after we remove this circuit board from the body you, as you can see the scroller is very smooth so i suspecting either there is a bend on my circuit board that is causing this scroller to be nearer towards the bridge due to maybe for a few years after a few years of usage so now i just planning to raise it up a little bit so how can we do it so i just i saw that there is this contact point as you can see there is this contact point to this hole so I'm just thinking that we can put a thin layer of tape to cover it up so that we have a few millimeters of raise of this circuit board. So let's cut a little bit of this paper tape and just tape it on this point. We just tape on top of it yeah so make sure the glue part is on the plastic casing on the plastic casing it is not towards to your circuit board else you will get a little bit mess over here so now we can just push it and assemble it all the way so now we need to be careful because over this point it has been raised so prevent to press too hard on this point if we press too hard just in case if the board is too fragile then we might break the whole circuit then the mouse is not usable anymore so just gently push it back and make sure this switch is located firmly yeah so now you can see 
that is a little bit raised of the circuit board from the body itself so now the scroller is getting smooth again after placing a paper tape over here it is getting a little bit smoother but if we press too hard we still get the rubbing towards the body so that's all that's the best we can do for now so let us assemble it back all together so now i have assembled back the whole thing so now you can see the scroller is much smoother after we just raise a little bit of the circuit from the body itself one key note to remember is if your mouse have warranty just take your mouse to the store and claim the warranty don't do this yourself else it will void your warranty and if in case anything that is broken that will be covered under warranty then you will you won't get any replacement of it so yeah, that's all bye bye